Hey, everybody, it's Professor Williams here with some uneven cash flows that we want to know what their future value is. So we want to know what's the value in year six. We get 3% interest. If we make a deposit of $1,550, $1,750, another $1,750, and then $2,050, I want to know at the end of year six, what's going to be the future value of that series of cash flows. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down. We're going to find the future value of year one and year two, year three, year four. We're going to add them all together, and that will give me the future value of this set of cash flows. So I'm going to start with year one. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear my calculator, make sure I don't have any junk left, and I'm going to move these over. So my N is five because I'm going to make the deposit in year one, and I want to know the value in year six. The interest rate is 3%. Present value is how much I'm going to write the check for today, which is $1,550. And because I'm writing a check, it's going to be my negative value. That's my present value. I'm not going to make any payments along the way, well, what I am going to do is I want to compute what the future value of that $1,550 is. So it's $1,796.87. So if I was going to keep going, I would start, I would clear. And I know that for year two, it's only going to grow four years. I'm going to get that same interest rate of 3%. In this case, my present value is going to be my $1,750 negative is my present value. I'm making no payments along the way, but I need to compute my future value. So I get $1,969.64. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do that for year one, year two, year three, year four. So this one is going to grow five years, four years, three years, and two years, all at this 3%. When I get done, I want to know what is the total future value of this series of cash flows. So if you followed along right, and you actually put each one of these in, right, this would be the year and the cash flow, the ends are five, four, three, and two. Our interest rate never changed. Our present value changed because we had uneven cash flows. We never made any payments along the way. These are the individual future values. And all I did was I summed all of these up together. So I know in year six, this series of cash flows here will be worth $7,853.63. So it looks like a complex problem, but just break it down, do one year at a time, keep track of them in your calculator memory or on a piece of paper, and at the end we'll know what a series of uneven cash flows is worth in the future. I hope this helped, and I hope to see you on my YouTube channel.